Yes, what's happening, people? I hope everyone's doing well. Now, as I said yesterday, VC and the Sheriff both have said a few different things about me today. VC on his live, Sheriff in his video. So, without any messing, let's get straight into my response to the two dings. So, what's happening, people? I hope you're all doing well. As most of you would have seen, there's been a lot of things circulating at the moment. VC... And a few other people trying to push narratives in the direction of Chris Murphy. Now, Chris has explained it, um, well, he's explained it well enough for me. A lot of other people seem to know the uh, the script with this sort of thing. As I will pin on the screen now, a comment what Karma Corner left for Chris. Now, Karma is very well respected in this corner. You all know, he knows his stuff, he knows what he's on about. And he, means he himself is saying there... It's a, a verbal thing, something that's given to someone over verbal stuff. Now, I'm guessing there may have been some communications where, you know, names may have been called and things. This is not really our business, which was my point. This is more Chris's personal business. And when he does prove his point, that will really be uh, shown and proven. But anyway, let's just listen to a quick clip of what Video Craig had to say, and then I'll be back. A little bit about what's going on with Chris uh, Murphy at the moment. So... I've only watched Anne's videos on the subject. I wonder why he only watched Anne's video. As we all know, Anne will run with any agenda that VC pushes and side with VC, even when it's blatantly obvious, like the whole Dimitri thing, when Dimitri said on the live he's been accusing him of spilling all his secrets, Anne still went with the narrative, JDP just makes everything up. Well, why would he have been accusing his friend? Hence why now... VC is only watching Anne's video on the subject. Newspaper article. Um, and it's came out that he did four years for selling cocaine and his ex has a non-molestation order against him and he got an eight-month suspended jail sentence. Now, apparently, JDP has said, and I haven't heard him say this, I'm only going off what Am said, that it was a personal matter it shouldn't be on YouTube. Mate, they're all fucking personal matters, right, that we don't want on YouTube. <laughs> now, in regards to uh, what he did the uh, sentence for, what he got four years for, etc., I'm pretty sure that Chris has mentioned that on multiple videos of his own, and he's been pretty open about that, that he got convicted and served however long. He's been quite open about that. In regards to this with uh, his ex-partner in his children and things. For me, that's his family business and it shouldn't be getting dragged through the mud on YouTube. I think it's quite clear to see Chris is a decent, hard-working bloke. And as Karma Corner put in his uh, comment, what I did put in earlier on in the video, he also says, and he's the man who knows the ins and outs, as you all know, that they are given for verbal, you know, for like saying something that somebody doesn't like and that's how you receive one of them. In quid? So what's in these text messages? So if I've got one thing to say, it's, can we please see the text messages, Chris? Please, let's crack on. So you, a man who's convicted for actually assaulting a woman, punching her in the face and all the rest of it, grabbing her, you know, what you did, you're now trying to ask another man to see his personal text messages in regards to his children's mother from years ago. Are you actually for real? Who would show you anything? Like you are one of the real dangers to women in this corner, but you sit there and love to try and point the fingers at other people. Deflect away from what you are, make out everyone who points a, the finger and shines a light on exactly what you are is a liar and this, that and the other. And surely only simpletons are buying it now. What's that say? GDP tried his heart out to get you a beating on the back of what Paddy said yesterday. Did he? When I had that beard, I couldn't pull a plug. I don't think Paddy Conroy's taking any advice from fucking JDP to you. No. No, I wasn't trying to give Paddy Conroy advice, and I wasn't even really trying to get you a kick in. I was just stating a fact, you know, Paddy was making certain threats and other people were leaving comments, so I just thought I'd point out the fact that you did actually try and make a song about him, labelling him as the worst thing you can call a man. Tried to make it go viral. It semi did go viral. A lot of people have heard it and seen it up and down the country. We are questioning something in regards to a GoFundMe. And the main thing what we're questioning is what the sheriff's doing with the money. But that leads us nicely on to the sheriff. 
So, I've actually got a little bit of footage. Before we go into my response to the sheriff here, treating you here now, I found a little snippet. The sheriff, you know, he was mad unlucky. He was this close to getting into Hogwarts, you know. He could have been a real wizard. Just a little bit unlucky on the sorting hat. Slytherin! Hufflepuff! A few minutes later... Housing for registered sex offenders! Ah. So, unlucky sheriff, at least you actually got there and got to sit in the chair, but obviously the hat now is all in it. Anyway, guys, I was going to actually respond to the sheriff in this video as well, but it's already knocking on now. It's like six minutes, seven minutes long or whatever. So, I will do my response to the sheriff probably later on today or tomorrow morning. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. I find it absolutely like... How can video Craig try pointing the finger at Murphy and questioning Murphy, asking to see the details in regards to his personal life when that man has been convicted <clears throat> of assaulting multiple women in an house party just because he managed, he's got a, a good solicitor and his dad knows this person and that person, he managed to get off with a slap on the wrist. Doesn't take away from the fact of what he did. And if that was anybody else in this corner... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. If that was anybody else in this corner, you would be all over it, you know. So, big shout out to the real ones. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll see you all on the next video. Maybe later on today. Maybe tomorrow. Depends if I've got enough time to uh, put together the sheriff video. I've got a couple of things to do today now. But we will see you on the next one. Whether it's later or tomorrow. You'll have to wait and see. Peace.